Hey everybody, we're in Elkhart, Indiana, and we are attending an annual event called RV Open House. Now, it's not open to the public, it's just dealers and uh, uh, people who sell RVs and buy directly from the factory. They're the ones who are here. And this really is a big deal. It is estimated they will buy, order, over $2 billion worth of vehicles. Elkhart, Indiana is the RV capital of the world. More than 80% of global RV production is based throughout this area. That means if you see an RV rolling down the road anywhere in the world, chances are it was built in or around Elkhart. And the place is booming. The jobless rate is close to zero. That's because the industry is building and selling RVs so fast that it can't keep up. RV manufacturers here have 9,500 job openings right now that they are looking for people to fill. Technology plays a major part in RV innovation these days, and at RV Open House, something called Watt was unveiled by Road Trek and the Irwin Heimer Group that takes off the grid boondocking style camping to a whole new level. What is this? So this is a battery charger but it's a hybrid power system. So what it does is it'll keep your batteries topped up throughout the evening, just like you'd consider a normal generator. However, it runs on a fuel cell. So we have a propane powered fuel cell at the heart of it, and the hybrid piece of it incorporates solar panels. So we can actually run on solar and on the fuel cell, and depending on how the uh, solar situation is set up at that time, it could be the evening or whatever, the fuel cell will kick on and fill in the gaps. So what does this mean to me and my RV out boondocking in the middle of nowhere? So it, it means you get power when you need it, quietly, so it's running right now and you can't hear it in the background. Wait a minute, it's running now? It's running right now and you can't hear it in the background. Wow. Um, you get no generator emissions, so you can actually breathe the exhaust, it's safe, um, so quiet, clean, safe and it runs when you need it. So you don't have to go start your generator or shut your generator off. It's just working all the time in the background. So when you need power and your batteries need to be topped off, it will start up, top them off, and shut itself back down. How much propane does it use when you're out so this, back? this runs at a third of a pound an hour. So a 20 pound grill tank that you could get at any convenience store run for about 60 hours. If you need less power, we actually can turn down and use less fuel. So that could even go further if you're not using full power. And how does it work in conjunction with solar? So what we do is we monitor the battery bank the entire time. And so we determine when the battery bank isn't sufficiently being charged by solar, we are able to augment that by adding the fuel cell. Uh, we can also start up the fuel cell. You can force a charge start. You can do all different kinds of things, but it basically makes the decisions for you in the background so you don't have to worry about it. It's a hybrid, it's a hybrid energy system. We don't compete with solar, we complement solar. We don't compete with batteries, we optimize batteries. And do you leave it on all the time and then it just it, it kicks on when it needs to? It, it basically is sleeping and just watching everything at a very low power consumption. And when it determines it's time to turn on, if there's solar available, it will always turn on and try. And if the batteries get down to a preset charge level, it's going to actually start the fuel cell up. All right, so it's the middle of the night. It's really hot. I, I'm going to bed at 11 o'clock. I turn on my air, and I want it to run all night long. Most air conditioners are going to drop off after about four hours because they suck that juice out of the battery. How will this help me in that situation? So this is going to give you an extra 40 to 50 amps of power to complement whatever you're draining out of the batteries, which should get you through the entire evening. Wow. Yeah. It's called Watt? Watt Fuel Cell. This w is the Imperium. Yep. W-A-T-T, working all the time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, very clever. We, uh, we've been focusing for many years now on all the uh, technology to allow people to boondock and to get people out there. So, you know, we have the lithium batteries, the engine generators, and the 12 volt air conditioners, and that kind of stuff. And of course, everybody in the industry is now starting to copy all that, and that's great. So we're continuing to push forward and looking at really the environmental impact and the length of time you can boondock for. And in order to achieve that, we're really focusing in now on the use of, uh, of propane fuel cells, which are virtually emissions-free, great for the environment. Propane is readily available everywhere. There's no combustion 
and they provide almost endless power. Quiet, clean, endless power. Um, you know, you get 60 hours out of a small propane tank. Um, in one of our coaches, in our propane systems, you'd get uh, four times that. So you get 240 hours of charging out of one of those fuel cells. So it's really exciting because it's going to change the industry, this one. You know, you're going to be able to charge your electric car pulling a, pulling a small trailer, for instance, using the fuel cell in your coach, in your trailer. It's, it's just an amazing innovation and uh, we've been working with the people from Watt for about four years on that and uh, it's been a terrific, uh, terrific time and we're just coming to market with it now. How long before this all comes to market? In the next year are we talking about or longer than that? I would say that you will see vehicles at Pomona for sale with fuel cells in them. That's in just a couple of weeks. That's in a couple of weeks. Well, we will be there. That's good. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Jim, why the, is it another double digit year for uh, Class B RV sales in general? Uh, what, is, what do you attribute that to? Why such a massive continued growth in Class B? Well, you know, I think all the manufacturers to a certain degree are, are leading the way with better products. And, uh, and because there's so many more manufacturers in and so many more dealers in, Class B's are starting to get known now in society. For many years, people would walk up to me and say, I didn't even know these existed. And now today, they're getting to be prolific everywhere and more and more people get to know about them and people say, well, this is just smart. I can park in my own driveway, it's parkable, drivable, I can boondock and camp anywhere I want. So, you know, it, people are discovering it and it's starting to go anywhere. As well, you're starting to see innovations like our, uh, our new Heimer Active Pop Top, uh, the Loft Edition, with that, uh, that sleeps five people in a Class B, so a family can now use it. You know, just a recent Hershey show, it was the dominant vehicle we sold. A different age group is getting involved in Class Bs now, and, and it's more like Europe where families class, use Class Bs, and here now we're seeing the same thing. So you're going to see all those things, and I know some of our competitors have done an excellent job as well attracting that more outdoors crowd. So it's becoming more prolific throughout society about how people use them. They don't have to go to campgrounds, and people like that. And I think it's just going to continue to grow in double digits every year. Now, Chris, I got to ask you about the, the changes with uh, Heimer North America and Road Trek. You sent a note out to all your customers that this really excites you. Do you know what? Uh, the, uh, the acquisition of us by Thor is just such a positive thing. And I think it's really important to understand this wasn't a random act. You know, uh, the, the Heimer family was interested in, uh, in, uh, in divesting a portion of the company. A number of bidders made offers. Uh, Thor was a great fit for everybody because they understand our business, they're very decentralized, they like an entrepreneurial spirit, they like us to what we do, we love what they do, um, they're financially stable, uh, so was EHG, so it was really easy. Um, I just think this is a great fit for everybody and from my perspective, you know, nothing changes. We're just going to continue to put great products out there and give great customer service and, you know, it's a business, so we're going to make money doing it and, uh, and I think uh, that's why Thor acquired us. Lots of innovation, lots of new products that will be showing up in dealerships next year. Now, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. We sure appreciate it when you do that. And don't forget to subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.